Hello, everybody. Welcome to another great episode of Distilled, Brewed, and Reviewed. My name is John. This is the World Famous Sipping Den. I do a lot of my videos down here. Not all of them, but a lot of them. And uh, my videos include everything that has anything to do with alcohol. And everything has anything to do with coffee. And I have thousands of videos. But the beauty of it is, I took every single one of those videos. And I put it in a playlist. In the playlist section, I have an extensive playlist where I have everything broken down into categories and subcategories. So when you go into it, you could read the title of the playlist and you'll know what all those cool videos are going to be about in it. And I got some cool titles. I got some cool videos. I challenge you to check that out. Now, first comment of every video is pinned because it has a link to the playlist that pertains to what I'm reviewing. In this case, flavored whiskey. A long overdue, okay, way behind the eight ball on Fireball Cinnamon Whiskey from Canada, owned by Sazerac. And what made me, I had this forever. I just, other stuff would come up and I would get it and it just got, kept getting pushed, pushed to where now it's ancient, but I'm gonna do it. And what made me think about it is I just did this one, right? So it'll be under the same playlist. And then after I do this one, I'm gonna compare them. So let's get the Fireball. 66 proof. Oh, there was some controversy about Fireball that it wasn't whiskey. There was a lawsuit. Let me explain that real quick. If it says whiskey, see that? It's whiskey in there. Some of the minis didn't say whiskey. This one does. This miniature contains whiskey. But some of them just said Fireball. And those contained malt liquor basically beer because they were sold in, in um, convenience stores, gas station type stores that weren't allowed to sell liquor. So they made a special one using malt liquor for the ones that it was illegal to sell whiskey in. Uh, the only problem people might have what it, it was misleading because um, it just said fireball and they never said anything. And it should have said on the back, you know, or somewhere, uh, malt beverage. No big deal, right? Just explain why. Use the different alcohol because you had to. Don't try and lie and fake. So I don't know how that lawsuit worked out, but that's what that lawsuit was all about, if you heard about it. All right. Let's get into the old fireball. Here it is. What did I say? It was 66 proof. All right. I like cinnamon. I like whiskey. Oh, it smells very similar to the old Tennessee fire. Hmm. I said the Tennessee fire smelled like Red Hots with made it with Jack Daniels with the, with the kind of a whiskey background. This smells like Red Hots. I think this is the original, by the way. I think the original whiskey cinnamon is fireball. Not so much the whiskey smell as you get on the Jack Daniels. Give it a taste. Now, you gotta like cinnamon. I love cinnamon. The back says, ignite the night. And here's the it's just a little um, Proctor Canada Sazerac. What you have here is a smooth whiskey with a fiery kick of red hot cinnamon. It tastes like heaven, but it burns like hell. What happens next is up to you. Does it burn? Yeah. Because cinnamon could be hot in its natural state. And this is hot. Peppery hot. Um, it's just hot cinnamon. It's just, it's a hot cinnamon candy. I like cinnamon. Therefore, a hot cinnamon candy. That's 66 proof. 
All right. Not to say anything else. And now I want to mix it or not mix it. No, no, no. Compare it. We're going to compare these two in the next video. So you like this here, this these flavored whiskey slash cordials. Then you click on this playlist and you see all the cool stuff, all right? There's a lot of cool stuff for us cool kids. <laughs>